What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'm going to talk about housing. There's been some interesting uh, conversations uh, lately on the ESO housing forums, and it's mainly been about different designs of homes, how people want to see Zoss bring some different home designs into the game. And the one comment that a lot of people make, and it's one that I've made here on the channel myself a lot, is more medium homes should be added into the game. And I do agree that uh, agree with that. I think medium homes and small homes, you make them look a lot better. It looks a lot more, it looks a lot more full with the amount of furniture and the size of the home. And I feel like a lot of people feel like I do. Uh, when it comes to these really large homes, some of them look amazing, but at the same time, they look very empty. You have to block off areas just to be able to get, uh, you know, the spaces filled. And until Zoss actually adds a way in for us to have a lot more furniture in those bigger homes, it's going to continue to be that way. So more medium style homes. And there's also been a conversation about guilds, uh, guild halls, which is another thing that I talked about here on the channel a while back. People want independent guild halls where someone doesn't own the hall. It's the guild that owns the hall. So I think that is a, a thing that Zoss definitely should look at. Um, right now, of course, if you have a massive home, you cannot have every guild member you have in a guild in your home anyway because of the amount of players that can be you know, in the home at one time. But I still feel that a guild hall would be a, a really good thing for the game. People have been talking about also um, homes that appear not to be maybe houses, um, more hidden kind of looks to them. So there were some comments that I saw where people were talking about maybe walking walking up to kind of a rock-faced wall. You know, there's kind of a secret entrance there and it goes into the house. Something that doesn't necessarily look just like a house from the outside, but, you know, from the inside is actually, you know, the home that whatever style that, you know, that it could be depending on how that was designed, how that maybe that entrance was designed. And I think that's a really unique idea. I think those kind of hidden home ideas are, are something that people would really like. Uh, I've heard people talking about ocean and snow style cottages, which is something I guess we have in, in a way, but also not really. I, I think ocean style cottages, um, those snow style cottages would be a really uh, interesting add to the game as well. Uh, more building options to where if these Areas that they give us are going to be just these large land masses with no structures on them. You actually could build and design exactly what you want. Yes, you can build a house uh, from scratch. A lot of people do that. But at the same time, we have no options to, you know, like make a garden, put grass down, those kind of things. Yes, you can put plants and trees out, but really a, a good set of tools to make a, a open space really feel like, you know, something that you can design to the to its fullest. And last but not least, the one that I saw that I thought was really, really great that I really would like to see in the game is lighthouse style homes. That kind of goes with those ocean style cottages, but a lighthouse home would be a, a very unique idea considering you're looking at something that's kind of a, a, a tall, small, skinny structure compared to, you know, like a, a normal mass size of a house that we would have in game. So something like that where you could decorate vertically, I think would be very, very cool to see in game anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace